Uncovering inequality, a series of new reports reveals the ways racism continues to cause disparities in our society. The dean of the Columbia Journalism School commissioned the project, and he tells CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell how he hopes to change the conversation. The idea for the Uncovering Inequality Project came to journalist and educator Jelani Cobb in 2020 as the country reeled from the pandemic, the subsequent recession, and the outcry over policing after the murder of George Floyd. All three of those things disproportionately affect the same communities. Cobb charged experts to compile comprehensive research in five fields, housing, health care, education, economics, and criminal justice. They revealed their findings this week at Columbia Journalism School. I think it's too easy to feel like inequality drops from the sky and there's some haves and there's some have nots. Cobb, now Dean here, believes if journalists can see the bigger picture on racial inequality, they can help the public better understand how far we still have to go. We moved away from areas where we had a smaller disparity in criminal justice uh, than we see now, areas in which there was a closer proximity of black and white home ownership than we have at this moment, areas at which we saw educational achievement converge uh, and then move further apart. Upper income black women have infant mortality rates that exceed those of poor white women. And so even as we see progress, sometimes we see the seeds of new problems emerging. Since the people neighboring this school are affected by many of these issues, what is your conversation like with the leadership at Columbia mm -hmm. about how you can be a better neighbor? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, look, this is the kind of what we do uh, here, and I'm always, uh, I'm very new in this position, but I'm always advocating for those stronger community relations. Some on campus question Columbia's own recent real estate expansion into the Harlem community. There's no transparency with, like it's one thing if they're buying up all the land and saying, hey, we're going to build a bunch of daycare centers or schools or whatever, things for the community. But there's a lot to be done, and I think that as an institution that has uh, resources and has the legacy that it has and the standing that it has, uh, it's really important that we make sure that we are uh, as beneficial to the people in the community around as well as we can be. At the same time, students in Columbia's General Studies Department have formed the group Equality for GS to advocate for access to the financial aid they need. Cobb says these concerns are all connected. Housing inequality can't be separated from economic inequality, uh, and economic inequality can't be separated from health care outcomes, uh, and all these things are interrelated. He hopes the reports shape reporting so inequality is no longer ignored. Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. And four of the five reports from the Uncovering Inequality Project are available online right now. The economics report will be released tomorrow, and you can find those reports at CBSNewYork.com.